Hey guys, so today I wanted to show you my upgraded hedgehog enclosure. I have a whole build on how I did the bioactive in a smaller enclosure when I first got him that I will leave linked in the description below. Um, but this is his new permanent enclosure. Yeah, I wanted to show you Silas's enclosure, introduce you to Silas himself. Uh, he will make an appearance at the very end of the video. Just because it's the middle of the day, I didn't want to wake him up. You can kind of see him, his coloration in the video of him sleeping, but um, I will get him up later. So so sorry if the later footage is bad quality because um, it's going to be dark, but that's what we're going to do because I'm not going to wake him up just to show him in a video. So we'll wait until he's awake later tonight, but I wanted to film the actual video uh, in the daylight. So please enjoy the tour. So here is an overview of Silas's enclosure. It is a four foot by two foot by two foot zen habitat enclosure. Um, he has his heat over there on a thermostat um, and the actual bulb thing is on top of there in between Wednesday and Silas's enclosure and this is a thermometer to keep track of the other side just to make sure it doesn't get too cool um, but this is an overview it's all bioactive he does have a cleanup crew in there um, and most of the substrate is organic potting soil some bio dude uh, substrate and then washed play sand so i'll just give you an overview of kind of what he has um so we'll start on this side this is his water dish it's like a natural looking rock water dish um and then he has some cork a couple pieces of wood different types of wood this is a, a 12 inch night angel wheel that is constantly filthy and it always kicks up onto that little hide I have right there from Daniel Claussen. Um, all of the plants in his enclosure are fake, um, so he has lots of digging opportunities. This is where I usually give him mealworms. Clearly he kicked some substrate in there last night, but obviously didn't do that out if he was going to have uh, mealworms. He loves to dig around. Um, uh, more pieces of wood to climb on more pieces of like fake plants he has a couple different hides back there he likes to sleep in one is that cork round and then also he's currently in that half log right there um he's sleeping i uh, will lift this up to show you but so he is right there half buried um i will film a little bit like a meet my hedgehog separately at the end of this to kind of show you but i didn't want to wake him up and everything also obviously this usually has glass doors i took them off to film this uh just so we all are on the same page um and then this is his food dish with his kibble i'll put the brand of kibble i feed him on the screen it was the best kibble for a growing hedgehog so that's what i feed him oh it looks like he may have pooped in his kibble so i'm gonna have to throw that away actually and get him some new stuff but that's fine um but yeah, here's an overview of the enclosure. I think it provides a lot of enrichment. I really like providing him with the digging and natural materials. Um, he definitely uses it. He runs on his wheel. I don't think there. I don't think keeping him on fleece is bad, but I do really like this option. Um, and I wasn't even gonna try having real plants because you can see he even uprooted that <laughs> whole potted plant. He's a tarrant, but. Uh, He's very, very cute and very special, and I really like him. Um, and just stay tuned for the introduction part when uh, he comes out and says hi, because right now, right now he's taking a little snooze. Okay, everyone, meet Silas. He is very stressed out right now, so we're not gonna keep him out too long because of the light, but it's nighttime, so I had to put the light on, but this is, him. He's not fully, fully grown yet, uh, but he is almost there. He really wants to get out of my hands. I'm wearing gloves because he's not afraid of me, but he is not used to handling, so he's very prickly still. Um, here he is. He's very cute. He's a very sweet boy. Um, and I honestly, I just don't take him out and handle him that often. He doesn't... He has a really big cage, like uh, you just saw, so he doesn't really need to come out um i take him out just to do health checks and stuff yeah here he is i'm gonna roll some footage of him rolling rolling crawling around on the ground 
because uh, he's a little more comfortable down there. But uh, yeah, here's my hedgehog Silas. I hope you, I hope you enjoy meeting him. He's very cute and very sweet. I'm gonna put him back down so he can enjoy life. <laughs>